SKR service procedure. When the humidifier reaches 1500 hours of operation, the red LED alarm indicator will blink on off continually, letting you be aware that the unit should be serviced soon. The humidifier will operate for 50 extra hours with the red LED blinking continually. After the 50 hours have elapsed, the unit will automatically shut down and lock out and the red LED will remain fully on. The humidifier must be first reset, then serviced. Once reset, it will go through another 1500 hour period of operation. To reset the time factor to zero hours operation, press both the power push button and the drain push button simultaneously for about 20 seconds and this will zero the hours and get rid of the red check light. With the power still on, drain the boiling chamber by pressing the drain down button on the front panel. The humidifier will fill with water just about to the brim of the chamber, thus initiating a siphon which will empty the cylinder of water. There is no drain valve. The humidifier will automatically fill again with water and siphon the chamber a second time. The level of water in the cylinder can be seen in the clear silicone hose, which houses the level probes, to the right of the boiling chamber. Note that there are several inches of water in the chamber as the drain port is located on the side wall of the cylinder just up several inches from the base. This is to prevent any mineral deposit from blocking the drain port. During the operation mode, the mineral deposit falls to the bottom of the chamber and accumulates there. Remove the electrical power from the humidifier at the disconnect switch or at the electrical breaker. Then remove the main round black connector plug to the heating elements. Unscrew it several turns. Disconnect the two wire connector to the high temperature thermodisc. As you can see there are two red wires. With an adjustable wrench, loosen the compression brass connector at the drain fitting at the side of the chamber. Loosen the steel clamp that holds the steam hose security in place and pry the hose off the steam outlet at the very top of the boiling chamber. Remove the chamber from the unit. Before you remove the cover, mark with a felt marker the position of the cover vis-à-vis -vis the basin, so that after cleaning you install the cover properly aligned as before. Uncouple the three clamp connectors. Now remove the cover with the elements attached. It is not necessary to clean the elements. They are self-cleaning. Dump out all the mineral residue and rinse the chamber with water only. Do not use acid or vinegar. If the scale is quite rigid, try to dislodge it with a screwdriver. Replace the cover, paying attention to the round cover gasket which fits snug right under the cover at its edge. If the gasket is rigid and dry and in bad shape, replace it with a new one. The new gasket itself is slightly larger than the groove in the cover. Force it into place with your fingers and you'll see it fits snug. Replace the cylinder in the unit and screw on the brass drain connection and tighten it. Reconnect the small white connector to the thermodisc high limit and the steam hose to the steam outlet. Don't forget to tighten the steel clamp for the hose connection. Reconnect the black power plug to the elements. Power up the unit. To the left of the start stop power push button there is a green LED that flashes slowly. This is standby mode. Press the power button once and the unit will now be in startup mode and the green LED is fully on. If there is a call for humidity from the humidity controller, the unit will fill to the proper level and commence its boiling cycle. If for any reason you require help or have some inquiries, feel free to call us.